Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we're doing another <laughs> Balloon Starter Hunt 5 and it's taken a while. It's Blood Spot 3, which we are doing today. It's today's daily challenge, obviously, and we are going to go for uh, some early boomerang throwers. So it said Dark Monkeys in the, uh, well, description of the challenge. And it, they are actually... Well, Dartling Monkeys, which are way better, obviously, because Dart Monkeys at 2-2 two two don't really do anything. So um, we're going for Dartling Monkeys and, well, or Dartling Gunners, I should say. And Dartling Gunners are just awesome. I mean, yeah, you have to control them manually. So basically, the better you are, the better they are. But yeah, they are very, very useful. So anyhow, we're going to uh, go into... Uh, uh, three of these it's going to be four eventually and it, this was really a very very simple one so the, the the left one is set to strong the others are set to first and um, yeah that is basically all you need to know so the left one will always shoot at the well the biggest balloon on screen basically where the others will just um, well get everyone everything else but as you can see, it is uh, perfectly clearing up so far. I will lose one balloon, I believe. Well, no, two actually. A uh, blue one and a red one. So three lives total. Wow, out of a total of 150. Well, that's a real problem, man. If only I could repeat that. Um, no, this, it, it's here. Yeah, there you see it. It's really not a problem, obviously. And we are going to go for the Dartling Gunners. As I said, they are awesome. I'm not using a building this time because this was the first time I tried and the first few times I always try without a building because, uh, well, unless it's a really, really difficult one, I always want to, no, I still, even with the really difficult ones, I want to get it with a building. If it just takes too long, then I want to uh, do it with a building. Uh, yeah, I think I messed that up. But yeah, I normally want to do it without a building, and uh, yeah, uh, sometimes you just have to use a building, unfortunately, because it would be uh, better or nicer if you didn't have to. Uh, because, well, not everyone has all the buildings. I, of course, have all the buildings. I also have 50 of each of the... Oh, well, not each. Huh. I still need to buy a few uh, of the uh, special agents. Um, yeah, I kind of have to spend my money on something, so might as well just stack up on uh, on special agents. But yeah, the problem is, of course, I can never use them because uh, if I get pro agents, so pro special agents, then yeah, people would not be able to follow my playthroughs anymore. So this is really, really boring, by the way. Um, uh, I did upgrade that uh, Dartling Gunner to 2 and 2, and we are now just waiting for things to happen waiting for to well to get new uh, dartling gunners and i'm just going to build them all around the right side of the field obviously i want to have them on places where they can actually pick up uh, well multiple blooms while not moving away from that entrance i want to keep shooting at the entrance because that is the most efficient and this one the, so the last one i uh, i actually placed has three crossings uh, plus the entrance so four crossings total with the track which means it uh, can pop balloons on four different places at the same time which is awesome sauce and i'm trying to replicate that now on the bottom with my next one but as i said it's going to take a while because first of all they're well relatively expensive for the early rounds uh, but yeah, they are also very good, so you only need a few to uh, to pick up these rounds So it's, it's not really a problem that they're like expensive. It is uh, only It's yeah, it's only a problem that well You only have a few and it takes a while to get the next one. So it's not really spectacular to watch So um, yeah, just continuing on building more and more and upgrading them to two and one Obviously, you only need one to uh, to pop all the lead balloons, and yeah, I got caught off guard. I always get caught off guard by that one. Uh, around 37 has camo in it. 42 is the next camo, by the way, but that really doesn't matter too much. But uh, 37, yeah, they really put in a big pause. 
before the camo balloons actually show up so normally I start shopping for my next towers or next upgrades and then I get caught off guard by them and yeah it's only a problem if you have dartling gunners because obviously for the rest it doesn't matter we are going to put more and more so bottom always needs more protection than the top in this uh, track and that is because of these kind of waves also wave 46 will go to the bottom no sorry that will go, that one will go to the top never mind but yeah the bottom always needs more protection so yeah that's why i'm starting to build to uh, those things in the bottom now because well that's where i want them i want to have that extra firepower there and the closer the dartling gunners are to uh, well, where you actually uh, have the balloons, the better they will do. So cleaning up the bottom part first, then the top part afterwards, because the top part is longer. And it, um, well, generally has smaller balloons in it for the simple reason that, well, everything gets popped by those uh, uh, boomerang monkeys twice. So yeah, normally there will be smaller balloons in there and therefore they will travel slower and therefore you have all the time in the world to go bottom first then top and as you can see it's clearing up quite nicely we're 45 here so we're getting some extra money going and getting another one of these guys as you can see 46 indeed going top and that is uh yeah it's good it means that um, you have an easy time just defeating all of the balloons before you have to worry about anything else yeah so um yeah it cleans up pretty easily uh, you can at this point of course sell the boomerang monkeys because they no longer are very useful uh, the only wave that we still have to worry about is 49 yes that is surprising you would have thought uh, you would have thought 50 right with the two moabs and blah 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 but the two moabs they will melt so quickly by now that you really don't have to worry about it and by the way going for super monkeys really not efficient here because they are super expensive compared to um, to these dartling gunners the dartling gunners only cost like 1200 the super monkey costs 3500 so you can see that you can buy three dartling gunners for one super monkey and then you don't even have the upgrades on the super monkey yet which are way more expensive even relatively than um, the ones on the dartling gunner and therefore dartling gunners just better so oh it's only 950 even so yeah really you can place multiple uh yeah fully upgraded uh dartling gunners for one super monkey and the super monkey isn't even that good until it's two and zero or well two and two would be best in this case but two and zero is really the the minimum requirement here and yeah you can see the mobs really not a problem uh, so yeah building more surprising so yeah we are going for another two and one and this is wave 40 uh, 51 so 52 coming up and then 53 is the last one so um, yeah it's really not a problem it was a really easy one and yeah you have those every now and then uh, especially following a difficult one yesterday's one wasn't that difficult but i can definitely see people having trouble with it i was having trouble with it if you did see the video i only uploaded it this morning because uh, they didn't allow me on the server and that was just kind of lame because it wasn't that difficult and um, yeah i still got to not do it anyway no building use today hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time did you